Welcome back to everyone's channel. I'm wishing for a day full of Christ's grace for everyone. To ensure you don't miss any updates, we hope you like this movie and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come along for the ride as you watch this film through to the very finish. The tiny village of Medjugorje, located in the center of Bosnia and Herzegovina, has grown to become a spiritual destination for millions of people looking for miracles, faith, and hope. But one of the most well-known visionaries in the area, Ivanka Ivankovic, received an unusual word from the Virgin Mary that would rock the town on a particular day that was defined by a deep blue sky. This message, full with predictions and cautions, evolved into a pressing plea for introspection and repentance. This message's context is very important. Ever since Ivanka saw the Virgin for the first time in 1981, a constant stream of pilgrims has come to Medjugorje, attracted by the apparition's optimism and promise of miracles. All other messages Ivanka had gotten had been different from this one, though. Rather than conveying a message of harmony and affection, the Virgin revealed a disconcerting outlook for humanity's future. Ivanka knew she had to share it with the world, fearing the consequences, but yet feeling responsible for it. Ivanka felt the message heavy in her heart as she sat in her house. She clutched her rosary tremblingly and prayed in hushed tones that seemed to reach out to the heavens for direction. She struggled to communicate the message with those who would not become panicked, so she had kept it a secret for days. The Virgin had commanded everyone to repent and pray, a command that stuck in her mind like a bell announcing difficult days to come. Even more unsettling were the visuals that went along with the message. Ivanka saw scenes of flooded cities, ravaged landscapes from natural disasters, and a globe ripped apart by conflict. The picture was very clear, humanity was slipping away from God, caught up in a delusion of progress, and eventually going to destroy itself. But in all of this emptiness, the Virgin presented a glimmer of hope. She talked about how the world could be saved from its own abyss through a spiritual rebirth and a return to religion. Ivanka did not make the decision to share the message lightly. At last, she summoned a group of believers to the Church of San Santiago, the center of Medjugorje's spirituality, after gathering her bravery. An aura of prayer and hope was created in the church by the committed members singing and the golden light that permeated the space. Ivanka took a pallid but firm stance and addressed the assembly. Dear brothers and sisters, today I bring you a message from the Virgin Mary, one that invites us to reflection and prayer, she said in a clear, firm voice. The congregation listened to her remarks in a reverent hush. Ivanka described visions of suffering and devastation, but she also mentioned the possibility of redemption and hope. She exhorted everyone to get ready spiritually, to deepen their relationship with God, and to reaffirm the principles that had seemed to slip from memory. Her remarks had an instant impact. A few congregants were sobbing with emotion that they were overcome with emotion. Others, in quiet, found comfort in a faith that in the midst of the tumult of the modern world can seem far away at times. In that moment of introspection, the community of Medjugorje, which had long been split between ardent believers and doubters, came together. Ivanka's message swiftly left the chapel and began to spread. As pilgrims and visitors started talking about the words they had heard, suspicion and fear were mixed together. While some saw the message as a sincere warning, others wrote it off as the result of the naive devotion that characterizes Medjugorje enthusiasts. The neighborhood was hit by a rush of conflicting feelings and viewpoints as word got out. Ivanka arrived home fatigued but relieved as the sun sank below the hills. She had done her part by delivering a message to the world that she believed was essential. But she couldn't help but worry about the responses people who had heard her story would have to her account. The replies changed throughout the next few days. The weeks that followed were a blur of emotions. 
In order to implore God for wisdom and courage to confront the challenging times that appeared to be ahead, Medjugorje's faithful started to plan prayer vigils. People seeking spiritual comfort flocked to churches, and accounts of healings and miracles started to proliferate. Still, not everyone was persuaded. Ivanka's remarks were interpreted by some detractors and doubters as an effort at deceit, a publicity stunt, or a way to take advantage of believers' faith. The occurrence was covered by international media, whose stories ranged from skepticism to curiosity. Ivanka took solace in prayer in spite of the criticism, asking for courage to face the difficulties that were ahead. Her faith persisted because she understood that the Virgin had given her a mission and that it was her responsibility to complete it in spite of the difficulties. Many others started to feel the message's impact in their hearts. Even those who had been skeptics at first began to doubt their existence and relationship to God. As the Medjugorje community expanded, it became a ray of hope in a world where uncertainty was everywhere. Many people felt a spiritual rebirth that crossed boundaries as a result of Ivanka's speech. As the town, which was already well known for its apparitions, saw an increase in visitors, congregations grew. Many came just longing to find serenity in the midst of the mayhem, while others came driven by curiosity or the desire to witness a miracle. With unwavering dedication, Ivanka carried out her purpose, hosting prayer groups and events at both her home and the San Santiago Church. She was always willing to welcome anyone looking for spiritual direction. Her passion and humility had a profound effect on everyone around her. As reports of healing and rekindled faith grew, the world media started to present the Medjugorje phenomena in a more optimistic light. With every account of recovery and spiritual rediscovery, Medjugorje cemented its reputation as a place of hope and renewal. Millions of people were impacted by the Virgin's message even in the face of skepticism and criticism. Ivanka continued to live a modest life, giving her everything to prayer and her family. She was aware that not everyone would accept her witness, but she trusted in the Virgin's assurance that repentance and prayer would pave the road for forgiveness. Ivanka's message persisted in having an impact on her community over time. Faith expressed in practical deeds, like planning charity events to aid the underprivileged and fostering peace and harmony. In addition to bolstering the faith of the devout, these initiatives caught the interest of skeptics who started to recognize Ivanka's and the Virgin Mary's teachings as genuine agents of goodwill. Ivanka gratefully and modestly watched as the community came together in support of the Virgin's message. Every day was a chance to encourage others to reaffirm their faith, which made her duty as a messenger all the more important. Prayer vigils became more common, and a spirit of devotion and hope permeated the air. As time went on, the community's faith strengthened and became a pillar in the face of hardship. Medjugorje changed into a haven for spiritual seekers seeking comfort during trying times. As Ivanka's message spread, anxieties were banished and turned into a ray of hope. At last, Ivanka prayed for the world, for those who were lost and longed for redemption, in the quiet of her own home. Her faith was so radiant that it could drive out evil spirits and lead countless others to a brighter future. The message of Medjugorje persisted, bringing together souls seeking redemption and truth with a silent melody of hope and unending love. As a result, Ivanka Ivankovic's legacy and her experience with the Virgin Mary live on, serving as a testament to faith that is timeless and universal, encouraging everyone to join the quest for a world in which spirituality and love form the cornerstones of human existence. Ivanka has shown by her words and deeds that faith can light the way to a bright future even in the darkest of circumstances. I appreciate your participation in this trip. Your participation and presence give this investigation significance and influence. Until then, may the common narratives of our human experience serve as a source of inspiration and hope for you.